Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons. To alert you when to use caution. To replace the circulation pump in your dishwasher, you will need to uninstall the appliance. To do this, turn off the power to your dishwasher and shut off the water supply valve. Use a 5 8 inch wrench to unthread the water supply line fitting from the shutoff valve. Be prepared for some water to spill. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws to release the lower access panel. Unthread the screws securing the inner access panel. Lift up the panel to detach. Remove the nut and bolt securing the grounding wire to fully remove the panel. Next, unthread the screws securing the junction box cover, then pull the cover off. Note the location of the wires, then untwist the wire nuts to disconnect the wires. Unthread the wire strain relief nut and detach the strain relief from the junction box. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink drain or garbage disposer. Feed it through the cabinet. Open the dishwasher door and remove the mounting bracket screws. To move the dishwasher, you may need to adjust the front legs to lower the appliance. Now, very carefully pull the dishwasher away from the cabinet. Tip the dishwasher back so it rests on its rear panel. Cut the wire tie. Disconnect the circulation pump wire connector and detach the wire from the retaining clip. Next, use a short Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the pump mounting screws. Use a flathead screwdriver to help pry the old pump free. Remove the rubber isolator as well. Remove the screw to release the grounding wire. Install the new circulation pump by first securing the grounding wire with the screw. Insert the new rubber isolator into the sump. Apply some dish soap or rinse aid to the seals. Confirm that the flat sides of the housing align with the motor. Then insert the housing into the sump. Thread and tighten the mounting screws. Connect the wire connector. 
Hook the wire under the retaining clip and use a zip tie to secure. Return the dishwasher to its upright position. Make sure the water supply line and drain hose are accessible through the cabinet wall. Then gently slide the dishwasher back into the cabinet. Adjust the leveling legs if necessary. Replace the screws to secure the mounting brackets to the cabinet or countertop. Feed the drain hose through the cabinet and connect it to the sink drain or disposer. Make sure the hose is elevated above the connection point. Fully position the wire strain relief in the junction box. Secure the strain relief nut. Connect the wires using the wire nuts. Align the cover and replace the screw to secure. Secure the grounding wire to the inner access panel with the nut and bolt. Set the panel in place and rethread the screws to secure. Realign the outer access panel and secure it with the screws. Feed the water supply line through the cabinet and reattach it to the shutoff valve. With the repair completed, turn the water supply back on, as well as the power, and your dishwasher should be ready for use.